everybody knows where the pedometer is and you hook this up and every time you step a little toggle in there counts the number of steps so he said well maybe this would be a good way so we hooked this up to kids and we videotaped them as they walked and we found that we videotaped them and my students over at the uh, my phys doctor of physical therapy students I always get a new team every year of four kids and we work they work with me on all this and without them a lot of this research I couldn't have done because of their help um, well anyway we we videotaped them we actually counted the steps and they matched it to this and it, and it was uh, right on I mean it was very reliable the problem is kids don't walk they jump and they skip and they hop and they yeah. move around. So he said, well, are these things really reliable if you take kids in the general activity? So we hooked this up in PE classes. <laughs> and we videotaped them as they went in PE classes. Mm -hmm. And these things are not very accurate. So the next thing we went to is the heart rate monitors. And what you have here is a strap, which you put around the, ch the, the child's chest up okay, against the skin. Yeah. And this picks up the heart rate like an ECG, and it sends it to a receiver that is worn on, on the child's watch. wrist, like a wristwatch. Yeah. When you finish, you bring it back, and I have this. It's like a speaker, and it hooks up to your computer. And after a day of collecting, you just come and press the red button, and it downloads it into this, goes into the computer, and you have a program within the computer that, sort of that will analyzes. organize the... Uh, data as you want it. We found out that during the school day that these kids were very active. We were running into problems because you have to put this on the child. Now these kids are six, seven, eight years old and this is a child strap and we still would have to tie these things up in order to get a good contact and it would take us three trials yeah. to get one day of data that we could use. Some of the kids because of their autistic tendencies also don't like to be touched. So with some of the kids, we couldn't hook this up. Um, they, and they just didn't want this on them. And so we said, well, what's the next thing we can do that would not only follow the kids during the school day, but follow them over a seven day period? And that's the next one. And these are called accelerometers. Now these look, work just like pedometers in that you put those around uh -huh. the waist but they take three dimensional. Every time somebody moves, no matter what dimension they move, it will take a count. And the more counts, of course, the better, more active you are. And what's so neat about this is that these have a portal in them and you stick it into the accelerometer and you stick it into your computer and you have a program in your computer and you tell this thing that you want it to start collecting data at 6 a.m. on a Monday and you want it to stop at 12 midnight on Sunday. So you got seven days of activity. And at the end of it, you take it and you put it into computer and this downloads it into computer and the computer organizes it so you know the number of counts on every minute of every hour of every day.